motive. Tens moments today for parents when a bomb scare evacuated a local church serving as a daycare. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Kim Chapman. Now this all happened at the Dallas Bay Baptist Church in Saudi Daisy. James Torres joins us there live tonight. James, how did the parents that you spoke to about this react during all of it? Well, Kim, tonight there was a lot of worrying and a lot of waiting for those parents looking to get their children and hoping that they would find them safe. Luckily, that's exactly the case that we saw this afternoon. Now, I did connect with the Saudi Daisy woman, and by the time we got to talk, and she had put her children to bed, but she tells me that she's thankful that they knew very little about what was actually going on today. It's not what parents want to see or hear. Terror, honestly, is probably the best, the best word. But it's what Shea Sunderland dealt with today. Her four-year-old son evacuated from his daycare because of a bomb threat. I was definitely terrified just because that's all the information that I had. I just saw a bomb threat and evacuation. According to the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office, it happened here at the Dallas Bay Baptist Church School. Officials escorted all students off campus by bus as they investigated the threat. We had two Hamilton County school buses come and take the children from the campus of the church and school over to the local fire department, Dallas Bay Fire Department, station number two. That's where Sunderland found her son. We waited probably for about 45 minutes before they finally did the dismissal and we just kind of did like a car rider line and I got to him. And just before 4 p.m., parents heard what they wanted and all clear from the school with all students accounted for without any injuries. And just a little bit of positive news coming out of this story tonight. Sunderland tells me that when she reunited with her son, she found him with a big smile on his face. She says that he ended up telling her that the bus ride he thought was for a field trip and ended up loving the interactions he had with firefighters today. Right now we're live in Saudi Daisy. I'm James Torres, News Channel 9. James, thanks so much. Positive is always good. Tonight, still no word on where the threat originated. Of course, you could depend on us to bring you that information when we